As ashamed as I am to admit it, I've been getting a lot of my news this month from Facebook. And I'm not talking Bobby is in a relationship with Stacy or any of those stupid song lyrics, but American news. And I don't know if it's because I've been trying to tone down my time online or because I've been trying to amp up my computer, but Facebook should not be the place for me to get my information. Because of Facebook, I learned that A, there's a healthcare reform that's very close to being passing, and B, it probably will be passed in the next few days. No, 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 wait, healthcare reform? Already? It's only been like, how many years has it been? Anyway, that doesn't matter. It's happening in the next few days. I had no idea, and I didn't know anything about the healthcare reform. Naturally, with any change, there are happy people and there are unhappy people, and each have reasons for feeling the way that they do. So because I had the weekend off from doing videos, all of you people that think that I'm doing videos every day, but I'm not doing videos every day, I'm only doing a video every weekday, so quit being mad at me when I don't post a video on the weekend, I decided to do a little research on the healthcare reform and give you a little guide to what it's about. I tried to make this as bipartisan and as simple as I could, so let's begin. The pros. A lot of people who don't have health insurance will have health insurance. 95% of legal U.S. residents under the age of 65 will be covered. Compare that with today's steadily dropping 83%. Insurers will not be able to stop paying for people who are sick even if they lose their jobs. Compare that with today where if you get a heart attack, your insurance company could drop you like that. People who can't afford health insurance won't have to pay much. If you're really poor, you'll only have to pay a little bit or it could even be free. People who are sick will be eligible for health care. They can't just turn you down because of your illness. Medicaid availability will expand significantly. Children will be able to stay on their parents' insurance until they're age 26. Insurers will be forced to pay at least 80% of premiums on actual medical care. There will be a federally regulated insurance marketplace which should make health insurance more portable. The prescription drug donut hole will be closed. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't have to worry about it. Medicaid fraud will be cracked down on even more. The cons. Most of the bill won't go into effect until 2014. For the first 10 years, the bill will cost $94 billion per year on average. That's a little less costly than the yearly cost of the Iraq war. The individual mandate. You will either have to buy health insurance if you don't have it, or get a 2.5% tax increase. There will be a tax on very expensive health insurance plans. There will be a tax increase on high income people. If you earn more than $200,000 a year, your Medicare payroll tax will increase. Other stuff that might be good or bad depending on how you feel. Increased government involvement in healthcare. The government already pays a lot into healthcare, so this isn't really anything new. The abortion bill is neutral. There's no government funding and there's no additional restrictions. Really, neither side gets everything that it wants. Additional regulations on insurance companies. This will increase costs, but it will also increase quality. Large employers will have to offer health insurance to all of their employees or pay a fee. In the long run, it will hopefully reduce medical costs. Rising medical costs are the reason that long-term budget projections are so alarming. Unfortunately, this bill will not be enough. I mean, sure, there's some savings, but there's no way of knowing how transformative it's gonna be in the future. I think we're all beyond the point of people screaming about euthanasia, death panels, rationing of healthcare, forced abortion, one-child policy, and putting a government bureaucrat between you and your doctor. I don't, I don't think I need to reiterate how none of that is in the bill. Sometime in the future, hopefully the near future, we'll actually find out how good or bad this bill is and how much it's gonna cost people. Let me know what you guys think about the new healthcare bill down below. Also, let me know where you guys get most of your information from Yahoo, YouTube, Facebook. I mean, who says you can't learn anything on YouTube? No, really, who says that? Have they ever been on YouTube? 